Hopefully it, it didn't have to make a whole new VOD. And now I want more soga. Well, I finished off the root beer. I gotta go open a new one. Let me go look at my own stream to make sure we're still like good. Boy, I might have to refresh. Dude, I found some funny as fuck stream yesterday. A guy trolling eating. You mean Kit Kit Boga? Is the stream still good right now? Should I grab a rebel? I don't think I have a rebel. Ah, oh, fuck, that's good. I just realized I've never, like, drank a whole can of Red Bull at once, I think. Usually I, like, crack one open and then I pour some in my glass and then I leave the can in the fridge. So I don't know if it's a good idea for me to drink this whole thing right now. And um, I had been asking you about your date, but then I don't recall any answer. But uh, the fact that you mentioned them was like a little bit of news I've ever received about them as of late. I presume it's the same date. I just got a message, I presume in Discord, where Shotham just said, tonight, Shang-Chi and Marvel, I guess they're gonna w watch Shang-Chi tonight. But if they say, and Marvel, is there like another Marvel movie yet? I thought it was just Shang-Chi. Um, I'm not gonna bother going to Discord right now. Typing while I'm streaming at the same time is a hassle because it lags my phone. My thinking, to be honest, is if if people really care, they'll hop into the stream. It, messaging me while I'm streaming, expecting me to check the message while I'm streaming is 
basically it's stupid to me. Like, do you really care about me streaming if you're expecting me to do that? Like, bruh. Um, oh, I, whenever I hold like a can of cold soda pop, then I kind of, I don't think anybody else thinks about this. This is more of an obsessive side of me, but that I, uh, if I hold a can like this, then it will heat up the cold soda pop faster. I want the soda pop to stay cold. So if I want it to stay cold for as long as possible, me holding it like this is stupid. And then in terms of then thinking about what grip I could have that would impart the least amount of hand heat to the can, I'd be either holding it like this or at the top where this, the liquid is currently not existing. Yeah, same girl, we still vibe, and we did have a week out of, like, two months that was rough, but got dinner together last night, still going okay. Oh, nice. A week out of two months. How was it rough? As an insecure person, it's hard for me to tell when something is going, when a relationship isn't going well with me, because I'm pretty sure I'm much more likely to become insecure about it faster than somebody else. I mean, there's some people who are like me out there, but, uh, I don't know. Like, I can never be sure if it's just me or... But then, a re then again, a relationship is about one perception of it as well, so I don't know. This is, uh, 280% of my daily intake of vitamin B6. I'm 250% of B12. In conclusion, Red Bull is good for you. It's part of a healthy diet. <laughs> Trying to find some words, I don't know. But what emotions do you experience? Did both of you experience the same emotions? Was it rough for just one person or both people? I found it was difficult for me to also like try to put into words why, what I felt was wrong with the relationship that I had with that first person I matched with. And the way that I put it was, I felt like I was struggling to carry the conversation and that uh, it was a struggle to deep talk where a conversation would often stay at a, a level of small talk. That and some questions of mine wouldn't get answered where I would ask like the last thing I already mentioned this, but like I, the, one of the last things I had sent them was a question and then they never answered it. And then I was left feeling awkward. Like, should I repeat the question or ask a new one? Cause the question was just left hanging. So I was like ghosted. Both what? Both like, oh, you were both feeling not so great about the relationship? I gotta, s <laughs> the, uh, the pessimistic side of me is thinking that, uh, you, 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 
you fucked up and you're not telling me because it would be pretty obvious it was you who fucked up. <laughs> There's a, uh, do you know a YouTuber named Swoozy? He's this black guy who does animations and talked about how he worked at Disney, Disneyland and talked a lot about relationships. He had a video about how if you ask someone after they've gone through a breakup, like, so what was wrong with the other person? And if they give you an answer like, oh, they were just psycho, you know, man, they were, they were crazy. Like, what does that mean? Ugh, you know, they, I can't even tell you. They were just, they were just crazy, man. And it's like, if they don't give you a straight answer, then <laughs> chances are, this is not objectively determined, but chances are the person just calling the other person psycho was probably the one at fault. And, uh... <laughs> okay. I just don't think I'm kind of struggling to uh, put my thoughts into words not because I don't know how but like motivation to I often feel like if there's nobody here already then I'd rather just think quietly. Which is stupid as a streamer. How can I feel less shitty about thinking things out loud? try to wrap it instead of zapping it with self-doubt just got to get it out there with less worries and less of a care got to dare to speak up speak up I just wish there were more people here that would be like, hey, sup, with a protein drink, I guess. Uh, Greek Gert. More of a protein drink? What's the difference between a protein shake and a protein drink? That sound like the same to me. But that sounds pretty healthy. Which protein drink is it then? Ensure? Or Soylent? Or, or Keto Flex? Or... I forget the names of any of the ones. Pro 
protein drink. <coughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't drink a lot of them, so I don't know a lot of names of them. Premier Protein. The only thing I could compare it to that like that I'm familiar with would be what I have right next to me. Which is Soylent and Red Bull. How much protein is in Red Bull? Pretty sure zero. Carbs or calories, 110. And this is for uh, 250 milliliters. Zero fats. I, there's 105 milligrams of sodium in Red Bull. I didn't know that. Sugar is 27 grams. Zero grams protein. This is 414 milliliters. 400 calories. How many milliliters is that? 21 grams of fat, zero milligrams uh, sugars, nine grams, protein, 20 grams. So yours is like more, more packed than this, at least, I mean, this is not counting all the vitamins and minerals, but. 11 fluid ounces. This only has milliliters. I forget how much that is. Is it, is it bigger than this bottle? Which, which, which size is it closer to? I'm gonna presume it, I don't know, man. I presume it's closer to this size. And this is 250 milliliters. I think a juice box is like 250 milliliters. The fat ones, like Minute Maid. At least you have protein from like this. It's like a bunch of egg and like a sausage patty. I don't have to call this. Would you call this sausage? This used to be a round disc. That's like a breakfast, oh, breakfast sausage, right? No. What'd you call this? Cause you can get these at McDonald's too. It's like a patty of meat. I don't even remember what they call it there. I guess it would be a sausage McMuffin. Are breakfast sausages round discs? And then there's like a piece of toast on like homemade bread with jam and butter on it probably. And then I think this is a uh, banana bread or carrot cake. The inside part of this banana, this carrot cake, looks like it used to be more like wet and then it dried out. And I have a vague memory of eating it before with the inside being pretty wet. And then later on I felt nauseous for no reason. So I'm a bit sus of that, of that moist, not cooked inside. Have you ever had like wet banana bread or something and then it like made you feel nauseous or something? I that's so weird. I don't know if I've ever felt like that before from eating like wet bread. Really? Even like fresh ones? When I think of like, dude, like freshly toasted bagel and toast in general, like fresh toast is, it's hard to imagine things that are better. That's like a start to something really yummy. Like if you ever go to, uh, 
a place that serves coffee and then ordering a toasted bagel with, with cream cheese on it. And that's just like, so good. So that, that would be like baguette bread, right? That just reminds me of like brie cheese. Earlier today, I had a like a meatball sub that my dad made. It was almost like a hot dog bun, but then there was a bunch of meatballs in it. That was pretty good. You don't like Subway? You don't like BLTs? You ever had a lumberjack sandwich? I love Wonder White Bread. It was like the candy of bread without actually being, having anything extra sweet in it. It's just bread. I would take the Wonder White Bread and then I would smush it up into a ball and then I would snack on it. Wow, dude, I forgot about Wonder White Bread. Now I'm like craving that. It seems like one of those things where if I were rich, I would just always have Wonder White bread around. To snack on that and like Pocky. I mean, I could name a bunch more, but then I'd just be listing things forever. I guess it's Wonder Bread? Was I saying Wonder White bread? White Wonder. Was it called Wonder Bread? It's been so long since I've had it. I, I think the packaging back when I had it was like, it was in uh, a bread bag. It's like plastic, except it's it's chrome. It's like silver, so you can't really see into it. It seems like a stupid idea for a bread bag, but the bread inside was always really good. <laughs> Is it really? I mean, I figure it's pretty decadent and not healthy. It's more like very carbohydrate, pure carbohydrate, refined, I guess. Are those what are called refined carbo carbs? I would presume so. Yeah, that's why I called it the candy of bread. <laughs> Multigrain is probably way healthier. Have you ever had Dave's Killer Bread? We don't have it in Canada. Uh, I mean, maybe we do now, but like, we only ever had it when my mom went to the Costco in the US and then they had Dave's Killer Bread. And I, that was one of the few breads that was like, I loved eating it pretty much by itself. And that was like multigrain. And it was pretty interesting because the dude who made it was like an ex-con. And he like just redevoted his life to something positive and then we had the, and he's like this dude on the cover with like facial hair and like he's ripped with like a t-shirt just like down to here and then he's like he's holding like a, an electric guitar. That's Dave's killer bread, man. Hey, hop, hop italics. How you doing, man? Um, the situation is that I'm depressed and. My PC, I won't, I won't, my PC kind of broke and I won't have my PC for a week or two. So we're doing mobile streams now. And uh, I intend to go walk my dog after the stream and it's pretty much my bedtime. And I'm drinking a Red Bull. So this kind of helping me hold it together.
I've been smoking weed. I don't think watching Twitch Thoughts is healthy. I'll go through my stream notes since I, I did make some stream notes and I intended to go through them. It's 12.45 p.m. Thursday, September 16th, 2021. Uh, I do feel slightly better now that I've been actively talking and I went for a walk and drink your Red Bull. Well, my sleep has been consistent. I was in bed for 11 hours and 21 minutes last time and Usually when I wake up, I, I meditate for 20 minutes just to make sure I get as much sleep as possible. And then last this last time that I slept, I kept falling back asleep. So I actually just kind of cut myself off at some point because like 11 hours is more than enough. Um, and my first realization that I was becoming depressed was with how much sleep I was getting consistently. Um, I have another theory for why I might be getting so much sleep, but at this point I'm pretty sure it's just depression. Um, and with having getting more sleep that's consistent, which otherwise sounds good, means it's going to be harder for me to reach normie sleep schedule. Um, what time did I wake up? I woke up at 1.21 a.m., so I'm still, like, nocturnal, although by the time I'm ready, it's, like, and if I had a full stream, it would be during the daytime for people waking up and stuff and, and at noon, so it still has the potential to be good. Um, I should try to meet up with friends and or match dates. I'm going to try to head up my friend Ezrif tomorrow on Friday. And hopefully they're down to reconnect. Um, I did my full workout. Uh, my rhomboid, I do actually feel some discomfort in my rhomboid right now. Although I think I know what's causing it now and can try to go easier on the exercise that's causing it in the future. I'm trying to think of some new hobbies to pick up to help deal with how shitty I feel. I like to occupy my time. And things that I've thought of include dancing, which I've done a bit more of, but it's still... I mean, I'm still going to keep it up, but uh, I don't think it's like quite the cure to the depression, which I think is ultimately socialization, which is why I'm trying to meet up with friends. Um, other activities might include singing, playing Puzzle and Dragons, which I st I still am doing, but I'm losing interest in chess puzzles, which is, are surprisingly fun, uh, practicing my rap, which I did just do a little of while, while uh, before you guys got here. I did my full workout today, and I danced, and I just went up for an outdoor stream, and then after the stream, I'm going to walk my dog. So yes, I, oh, breathing exercises. No, I don't do breathing exercises. I presume you're just going to go ahead and tell me everything about them, so... I'll leave you to that. Um, drawing, I like drawing, but uh, part of me is thinking like, I wanna be good at drawing with like a mouse rather than with a pencil and stuff. If you link it, I will not, like, I don't think I can I can't highlight text in here, so I won't be able to save the link. So if you put it in Twitch chat, it's kind of pointless. I'm not going to get the link. Um, 
Although, I mean, you've come to the stream more than once, so I could invite you to the Discord, which would be the better place to post anything like that. <clears throat> Just let me know. Um, other activities could include spending more time on Twitch, because then I could socialize with people more. That seems like one good way to do it. Okay, give me a moment. I hope you don't mind if I just post it in chat. Uh, I think for me to post it, I have to uh, give me one. I can't do it through the Streamlabs app. I guess at this point, I'll just PM it to you. I'm not, oh, hmm. No, I sent you a PM. Um, let's see, I was thinking, thinking. I'd like to ask you if you've ever suffered from depression and if those breathing exercises are, are what, you, what you feel have helped treat your depression. Okay, I'm pretty curious what happened to you, but I don't want to interrupt your original point. Um, other things I could do, just two more to mention are uh, play on my dad's PlayStation and go for more walks. Uh, but it's going to be raining a lot for the next little while, so that does not work out well. But I'm hoping that it either rains itself out really fast or I really get into wearing a bunch of rainproof stuff so that I can still go for a walk anyway. There's stuff I want to say to what you're saying, but I'm like holding back. Real life PTSD? I'm not sure what you mean by real life. But uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You, you, did you catch COVID? Or do you mean like from the isolation we've all had to do with. Oh. Damn, bro. Dang, dude. Oh. What were your symptoms? Well, I feel like I'm getting you on track, though. But yeah, I'm curious. Um, 
Yeah, chest puzzles are surprisingly stimulating. Uh, they're more, f well, I guess I'll just talk with you, Rena. Instead of continuing my shrewdness until, uh, what's crazy? I gotta close my window. Brain swelling is a symptom of COVID? And how did you know you had brain swelling? Headaches? Uh, to be honest, I, right now, at least emotionally, do not feel like reaching out about it. Um, I do have shrooms available, but I don't like to take them because they rob me of my appetite, both food and sexual. I don't necessarily mind the sexual thing, but food, I struggle to eat enough, kind of. Like, I want to gain weight, but it's hard for me to do so. And, uh, yeah. So I prefer to just do weed instead. Not that weed is... I don't think weed is a treatment for depression, but I think I've heard that, yeah, like, psychedelic-assisted therapy with... I suppose shrooms would be one of them, might help with depression. But I also don't see it as a long-term solution, whereas I feel like I usually lean towards the idea that the, the, the cure for depression for me is getting enough socialization in, which is part of why I stream, but then a lot of the stream is dead, so then it just makes me more depressed. I think there are a lot of theories about what depression is. There's a lot of things at play. Yeah, I, I, th I think about that often, about the exercise. But then I also feel like I get plenty of exercise. And I also, I've been holding back saying this, but I also meditate for at least 20 minutes every day. I've gotten at least, it's usually like 40 minutes every day because I, I do it as soon as I wake up and then I do it after I shower. So then, but I otherwise don't feel like those are long-term solution and that the thing that helps the most is getting enough so good vibes in pretty much, or at least like engaging in some really stimulating, stimulating activity like a very engrossing video game. And which is why I'm kind of excited right now about chess puzzles because they're surprisingly like I just get sucked to it, into it and I feel very activated and stimulated. But I also don't see it as a long-term solution either. I would be more interested in psychedelic assisted therapy in this regard if psychedelic assisted therapy would I mean, I suppose I shouldn't use that term, just like psychedelic treatment of depression or specifically shrooms, shrooms to treat, treat depression if it is known to, when I guess it is known to like cause long lasting positive effects. I don't know if it's a cure though, is it? I guess I gotta look more at the research on that. I don't have a computer, so I cannot play the video games I usually play. All I've got is Melee and whatever I can play on my Android device which right now it's all I have in mind is puzzle dragons and chess puzzles. I could play Genshin Impact, but I also tell myself like, if I were to ever play Genshin Impact, I'd rather play it on PC so I can stream it properly because I would like to stream that instead of just playing it by myself. And then limiting what I play on my phone to things that I could only play on my phone that would also not be great to stream either. Because if it's something that I could otherwise stream, then I would rather be streaming it than I don't know. I do want to come back and play TF2 one day. Hey, Katyusha, how you doing? I'm 
not feeling great. I, st I still have to get to my stream notes. Yeah, I heard about that. Have they not, like, dealt with that yet? Cause I, I heard that was a problem, like, a while ago. So I presume they'd have done stuff for it by now. Ceramics. Are you getting, are you getting pottery, <laughs> clay all over your phone right now? Oh. So people, tap, like, as long as you play on, like, private servers, it's more, less of a problem? Did you, like, finish making the thing you were going to make and now it's in the oven and you're just waiting? It's in the kiln? Is, is it being glazed? Or is it baking? I don't know. I forget all the terms. <laughs> I did pottery class once with my dad. It was pretty interesting. But I didn't quite have the motivation to do it like my dad did. What What's the thing you had to make? In your class? Or what did you end up making? Is that... Is ceramics an elective for you? Are you tending towards a lot of fine arts? Like, what do you pick with your elective? Pot and a plate. Did you put like a design on it? Or is it just like basic stuff? I guess, presumably you're still at the beginning of the semester, so you're just working on basic stuff right now. And it's your ability to just get the fundamentals of it. And that's what you'd be graded on. Actually, I wonder what you'd be graded on. Like, if there'd be cracks and stuff in it. I'll go through my stream notes. Where I continue where I was. Um... Yeah, surprised that chess puzzles are chess puzzles right now are more fun to me than pad right now, even though they're very similar. Uh, might just be because less stress per board slash turn. To be honest, wait, less stress per board. Actually, I'm not. I'm not gonna expand on that. Uh, I currently weigh 140 pounds, which is good. I think I'm eating more than usual at least. Now that. Uh, I don't have my PC and I'm like eating because I'm bored. <sighs> or like less distracted. Um, been drinking more root beer lately, which is, I'd say, a bad thing, but uh, one thing I've been getting into lately. My dad bought this like pallet of soda that's like a variety of mugs root beer and a, some crush sodas, which is like orange and purple. Is that grape? I don't know. Um, it's gonna rain, I wanna walk my dog, we just did an outdoor stream, I wrote that, that, I wrote down outdoor stream as an idea, like, we could be doing right now, but then we just did it, and I'm pretty curious how much data I just used on that, but given that it's gonna rain for a while, it's like, I figured it would be a good time to do it today, since uh, I probably won't be using a bunch of data in the future, but otherwise, with these, uh, if it becomes sunny again, and I don't have my PC still, then... I want to do more outdoor streams, so I figure it's healthier. Um, still watching Rising of the Shield Hero. I'm on, like, episode 14 now. Um, it's a good show. Uh, and I have to... I think I'm more than halfway through it now. I don't know if there's a season two. And uh, so I gotta think of things to watch. So if you guys have recommendations, let me know, and then I'll try to keep them in mind or write them down right now. The ones that come to mind are like, maybe I'll go rewatch watch Ipmon <coughs> or Jurassic. I'll watch, I could watch Jurassic World. I haven't seen that. I wasn't really planning on watching it, but then people, it comes up often enough that I'm like, I should watch this. It's like a blockbuster movie, right? Shang-Chi. Um, I got my melee set up. And here, with the COT TV and the GameCube and such. So I'll at least be keeping up that practice. Future streams might be me with the mirror set up with the mirror next to it for the face cam and just playing mainly on stream. 
but uh, otherwise I just play like I'll, I'm watching a show and then I'm like I should do some, feeling like I need to do something more productive or just something else and then I practice a melee and then I go back to watching whatever on my phone um, I'm thinking once I get my PC back one of the first things I'm gonna do is VTube I don't know if I'll do that immediately but I do feel like VTubing is now on the rotation of like keeping up things that I want to practice which sounds weird because it doesn't necessarily sound like a particular thing to practice and I'm not exactly learning new things about it like how to use the VTubing program and it's more just the voice acting aspect and other things that I would do once I get my PC back I'm trying to like I'm trying to think of what things I should try presumably presuming that once I get it back it'll be with the 5600x working and stuff so it'll be like a properly souped up pc and then what things i should try once it's like that and the only th other things i could think of right now are borderlands 3 and aim arena which are i mean aim arena is just what i usually play and then i yeah this is kind of a hell for me even though it's like from another perspective it's not really hell because for a uh, I was talking about this with the two Hefe earlier on stream, this idea that like, it's really chill. Like I can just sit here and like watch anime and stuff that technically this, these two weeks could be a form of vacation for me where I could just leave myself to not stream and just, yeah, life without PC. Cause yeah, PC has been in for my life. No, no, no PC, no life. But, uh, I mean, the depression hit was pretty immediate. Uh, I said this earlier in the stream, I'll say it again, that um, the last time I was without my PC, I became depressed, like, near the end of the two weeks. So it's disconcerting that I'm, like, depressed immediately upon losing it, where I'm hitting depression a lot faster with it, or, like, immediately. So, let's see if I can survive two weeks. Um... I should try restreaming maybe. Uh, with the Streamlabs app, it, ha it says I have the option to restream to multiple platforms if I buy Prime, whatever that is. So maybe I should try that. I'm not sure what you mean by the guy with no PC. I feel like you're trying to make a reference. Uh, Saturday, there's Monster Cat Compound. And uh, originally, okay, the timeline was heard about it and like, oh, I definitely want to go. The Monster Cat Compound is always hype. And then I mentioned to some friends and they were like, oh, I'm actually trying to avoid large crowds for a while because COVID cases are back on the rise. There's like a new wave of COVID cases locally. And now that I'm feeling depressed and I don't have a PC, I'm back to feeling like, you know, there's a much higher chance now that I'll go to Monster Cat Compound anyway. It's something to do. But also, most of it is like outside with an outdoor stage. And the fact that rain is on the foreign ca forecast, I'm wondering how that'll play out. And that's everything I wanted to say for my stream notes. Uh, I don't know, like, curfew is, it says 1 p.m. plus because I want to get back on normie hours, so I don't mind going over the curfew right now. And only insofar as I'm delaying walking my dog, which I like to do. I mean, I guess it really doesn't matter how... I, I just don't want to be too tired, Walker. But I guess I'm... Uh... Yo. <laughs> I mean, my sense of smell already sucks, so if I lose my sense of smell from COVID, it doesn't matter anyway. But then I wouldn't be able to taste yummy things. And then I'd probably lose motivation to eat and then become really emaciated. If I lose my sense of smell. But I, I would make sure to like keep my distance. But if anybody ever tries to make friends with me, then I'd probably end up standing too close to them. I don't know. Um, I'll be right back. I just realized I left my jacket somewhere.
I'm trying to bring my dog. I don't see her right now, but she's probably just in the kitchen where both my parents are right now. <sighs> I do feel bad that I haven't brought my dog on stream more often, but uh, yeah, no. <laughs> we're tally. I don't, I don't know if that's the word you you mean. I can't believe you're, you're in class, you're just waiting for your thing to finish cooking and you're just in here. <laughs> I don't know if I ever watched Twitch at school. I don't know if I ever had Twitch as an app when I was in school. When was Twitch invented? I graduated from high school in like 2010? Was Twitch around in 2010? Does anybody else at your school use Twitch? I mean, probably, but do you know anybody that does? It'd be cool to like bond with classmates over Twitch. I don't think, did you get here after I mentioned the possible hobbies I could pick up? One of the ones I mentioned was Twitch. I suppose you would recommend it as an activity to get into, right? Because in terms of treating my depression, and I think socialization would be pretty, one of the biggest ways to fix it. And then Twitch seems like a good way to do it, but uh, I don't type as much on my phone when it comes to streams. The first thing I watch on my phone is like, in terms of Twitch streams, it's the most popular ones. And then those ones I wouldn't bother to type in. <laughs> you wouldn't recommend it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't know if I should avoid doing weed while depressed. Oh, uh, okay. Let me find, look at the list again. Um, so given that I'm feeling depressed, I feel like, uh, so this is a bit of a backstory to it that, um, I think I feel depressed because Here are the hobbies I'm considering picking up. Dancing, singing, getting harder into Puzzle and Dragons, chess, getting harder into chess puzzles, which I slowly am, uh, practicing more rap, drawing, Twitch, playing on my dad's PlayStation, and going for more walks, which will be hard to do since it's gonna rain a lot from now on. I think whatever hobby I should pick up should be a, an active one because getting that extra exercise would probably help. In which case that would just be like dancing and walking. I think I pick up juggling. What other active hobby could I pick up? Golfing? Uh, playing fetch with my dog? Just practicing throwing things accurately? Practicing spinning my aerobi? Wish I had like poi or something. Gloving? 
trying not to just wear your pants. <laughs> I was thinking earlier today, like, uh, I left my room door open and then our RoboVac, our like Roomba thing, um, wandered into my room and then got caught on some stuff. And one of the things it got caught on was these from my window. And I guess previously my mom had like tied them in a way that like kept them shorter and it needs to be retied. And I was thinking like, I wish I knew how to tie knots so I knew how to like properly make this shorter. Everybody gets caught in so much shit. I noticed earlier today our, our carpet that has tassels on the end of it, like, I guess they have, my parents have a habit, or my dad has a habit of uh, folding and tucking it under itself so that those little strings that are like the tassels at the end of a carpet, if a, if a Robovac goes over top of one of those, it's like, it really easily tangles it up and gets it caught. So, uh, yeah. Because when I noticed it was stuck on one of these, it was like on the front of the Robovac, there's like small discs like this with brushes on it all in the end. And I guess they just constantly spin and like bring dirt into itself and it like sucks it up. So then one of these tassels was wrapped around it like this. So I had to like <laughs> untangle like this to get it free. Also, does anybody know what... They have these little, like, discs on it. What are these for? I wonder if it's... There to help it like stay untangled. But that's yeah, sure. Okay, fine. That's that's a form of dancing. I only know one form of twerking. I otherwise feel that twerking is more of like a, a female dance form. That for guys to do it is is more like a meme funny, but it's otherwise not. I don't know, not attractive. The fuck, how does this just get caught in here? I don't know how to even start doing that. I mean, okay, the one thing I could think of was in the, in our local shuffle dancers group, some oftentimes people post and ask people for like lessons or something, but then I'm pretty sure most of those people are downtown. So I don't go there for the same reason I don't usually go, which is because it's really far away I should see if there's going to be more meetups and maybe go to one of those. They have, there's one like on Tuesday, they have one every other Tuesday downtown, which is like an hour drive for me. But then since I'm sleeping by like two, 3 PM, I'm like sleeping through it. So I can't go to those right now.
There's one like that's like oh bye Katisha. There's like one twerking move that I know. Thought that otherwise looking up any other one I wouldn't really bother because if I were gonna look up a dance move I would look up cutting shapes dance moves. I feel like I should call a stream here. you're talking about that was shot him to be clear when i was quoting the message that said tonight shang chi and marvel that was someone in the discord named jaffineo who didn't they just say that in the hashtag general chat They put that in the, in the general chat. I'm pretty sure that was them just announcing that that's what they were gonna go watch tonight. They never made an invite to me. Thanks for hanging out. <sighs> Fuck. I'm like, I just keep thinking about how depressed I am. And then I'm like trying to like, uh, it's so hard for me to think positive right now. I am going to end the stream. Peace, love, unity, respect. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.